Jody. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to show you a fun project using one of these bags. It's from page 158 in our large catalog, and they're right here up at the top. And there are some other um, accessories that you can get with it to decorate, but I wanted to challenge myself today to do something with this bag other than just use it as a bag. So this is what I came up with. This card is what I created, and I also use the Banner Blast stamp set and Banner Punch. I'm just going to pull this in to show you. This is from our Celebration brochure. This is an annual promotion going on right now with Stampin' Up. When you place a $50 order, you get to choose any item in the Celebration brochure for free. So Banner Blast as well as the Banner Punch are two of the options that you have that you can choose free with your qualifying order. So what I did was I used part of the bag right here on the front of the card. What's not as obvious but very fun is that I made this with the banner punch as a little tag so you could pull out the insert. So what I've actually done here with the bag is made a little pocket that you could not only put the insert with your greeting, but also a gift card or something like that. So I used another little strip from the bag right here and then the last thing that I did with the bag is used a little bit of it to line the envelope. So what I want to do first is just show you the measurements. I know I'm a very visual learner and so I created um, just this little diagram for you on one of the bags. So this right here I just cut at three and three fourths to this is the pocket part that's right here. And then this little piece is what's on the insert here and then I'll show you how to do this with the envelope liner because it's a bag of course this actually opens up so I'm able to do the full liner but just to show you how we use all of the space and there's still extra left if you want to be even more creative and add some other pieces to your project. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll scoot some of this out of the way. So again I am going to take the bag and cut three and three fourths of an inch up from the bottom. So I'll just cut it across like that and this is what makes our little pouch. Now to attach that, because I'm using this Tombow glue for some other things on this project, I just went ahead and used that on the back of the bag to attach it to the base of the card. The base of the card, by the way, is um, Bermuda Bay and it's a piece that is five and a half by four and a quarter inches. So it's a quarter of an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So this is just a little bit of glue on the back and then I'll place it right here on the um, Bermuda Bay, on the base of the card. Now you could use snail. I just like to use a, an adhesive that's a little bit stronger because as I take that insert in and out, it is going to you know pull on it just a little bit. So I want to make sure it's secure on there. So this is the part that I have left. So what I want to do, just as it shows here, is take one inch. So I'm just going to set it on my trimmer here at one inch and cut that down. It actually gives me two pieces. I'm only going to use half of it, so I'll just cut on that line. And the length is three and five eighths. So basically, I'm just cutting off that extra little bit. And then, like I said, I'll just line it up here and cut right down the center. So that is the piece that gets attached right here on the insert. Um, I will just use this again since it's right here. So we'll add some of that and attach that onto the Whisper White. Um, this Whisper White is uh, 3 and 5 eighths by, let me cheat here quick, 3 and 5 eighths by 4 and 3 fourths. So it's just a little bit narrower than the five inch pocket here so that it goes in and out easily. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you, let me go ahead and scoot this trimmer out of the way. The next thing I want to show you is how I attached the white baker's twine behind the banner pieces here. So I'll set this aside for a moment. Um, this is where 
I thought the green glue, the Tombow glue was especially helpful. So what I'm going to do is just put a little dot, just the tiny little bit, hopefully you can see it right there by my finger, and I'm just going to set this in there and just hold it there for a moment. And then I'll put another little dot right up here, oh, maybe a tiny bit more, and then set this one in it. And I just want to hold it there a little bit until it's dry. It doesn't dry immediately, but it doesn't take very long, and then you have a very strong hold. The last thing I'm going to do is pull this down just a little bit in the center so it's not taunt like that. So I'll put one little dot right there and then press that down into it as well. Okay, so um, I, wanted, oops, I wanted to show you how I did that banner because I know some people do banners and they like thread the twine through there and that's just a little too putsy for me. So all I did was take um, crushed curry, and this is one of the pieces, one of the stamps from Banner Blast. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this on Whisper White. This is just a scrap piece that I have. And then I'll use the Banner Punch, and, oops, just the wrong way. Just cut it here so that I can slide this in a little bit more. I need to just make sure that it'll get up here. So I'll just line it up like that and pop it out. And then all I did was take a Stampin' Dimensional and I left a little bit of space right there so that when I peel that off and place it on the card, I can have that go up over the twine just a little bit so it appears to be hanging from that. Okay, um, just a couple of other things to point out. I did punch a banner here and kind of tucked it under. And then, of course, on this insert, I punched another one to attach here because you want to have some kind of tab to pull that out. Um, the writing I did, of course, with the Bermuda Bay marker, just so it all coordinates. And then I just want to show you quickly how to get that envelope liner. So this is the piece that we have left. And if you notice when it un unfolds, you've got a decent sized piece here. So what I'm going to do is pull my Big Shot in. And I've got the magnetic platform here because I'm using a framelit. So I will set this down. Actually, this is a little bit long, so I'm just going to tuck it underneath. I could cut it off too. And then what I'm going to do, actually I need to scoot it up just a little bit here. What I'm going to do is set this, when you use frameless, there's the raised edge there that needs to go down. So I'm just going to set that on like this. Carefully place my other cutting pad on top and then crank it through. This will sound worse than it is when you crank the envelope liner framelit through the Big Shot. It always makes that terrible sound, but it's really not doing any harm. Okay, so this is the piece that I have. So what I'm going to do is pull in our Whisper White medium-sized envelope and just tuck this liner down in here. The way I, I kind of guide how far down it needs to go is I just line the top up here with that, hopefully you can see, there's that little bit where you lick the envelope. There you go, the adhesive that's on there. You want it to line up just underneath that. So I'll place it there, and then I'm just going to kind of crease it along that fold in the envelope. So it'll be like this. And then you can use the green glue again, or the snail adhesive. And you're gonna to wanna to tack that down so it stays in place. So normally when you use the envelope framelit, you know, it's long like this, so it would go all the way down to the bottom. But there's no reason you still can't use it and just have that little bit tuck in there. No one will see that it doesn't go all the way down. So just a fun, creative way to use a simple bag like this for something other than packaging some type of gift. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. For daily creative inspiration, visit my blog or find me on Facebook at Jody Reinert Stamps.